This is the move that's gonna perfect your golf swing and you might need to tie yourself up like this. I like to think of this golf swing drill as something that helps you through the backswing and downswing and really gets you a good understanding of how the arms and the body work together as well as controlling that club face. Just wanna say I apologize for the leaf noise. We are in October here in the UK and there are other trees around here, so I apologize for that noise. Let's get into Robbie's swing. So remember, this is Sunday swings, and this is your chance to win a free swing analysis just like Robbie. So let's concentrate on how he takes this club away. This club works very around and open, and then underneath in this respect. And I get it. We want to try and feel an over and under swing, but we don't want to compromise club face, and we don't want to compromise the arms and the body working a little bit out of sync. So we're going to get everything sink back up. Remember, anything that I do say about Robbie's swing is applicable to your golf swing as well. Cheeky little tips daily that help you improve your game. So, so simple. Let's get into the tip. It's a little bit awkward to put on to begin with, but this is a great way to feel the whole golf swing. We're gonna talk about this, I feel a bit weird talking to you like this if I'm honest, we're gonna talk about this from a down the line perspective, so come around this way with me. And we're gonna talk about it predominantly through the back swing to start with, but then also a little bit of downswing as well. So make sure you stick around for the full video. And obviously I'll tell you how you can be in Robbie's place and get tips for your game. So let's think about this. We want the arms and the body to work in sync. Oh, and on a separate note, I know a lot of you have been asking me about this band, this one right here. If I'm truthfully honest, I was given it about 10 years ago. And I replied to a lot of you saying you can get them on Amazon, you can get them on eBay. They're I'll show you quite close. Come in there. That, that's what that's what they're called. This is no plug. I have no idea who they are. Someone just gifted me this band like five, ten years ago when I was in the gym. Uh, if someone's watching, they'll know who they are who gave it me. <laughs> so standing over the golf ball, this is what we're looking to achieve. Instead of the swing feeling as though the arms work away and around, and we tip this alignment stick over in this direction, we're really looking to feel as though through the backswing, we get the alignment stick tilted down to start with, and then we get it flat at the top. In the downswing, can we get it feeling like it works the opposite? Into impact and around. So I want you to really focus on getting this alignment stick into the positions and see what it does to your club face and your golf club. This is just gonna force you to move the arms, force you to move the body, force you to move it all in sync, which gives us, I'm gonna try and point the club face, <laughs> more control of this and more control of this. And you know what that means? More control of that shot out there. So walking into the shot, please don't hit any shots with this. This is for you just to feel on the range, at home even, if you grab your badminton racket, it's a great way to feel this. So position one, alignment stick points down. Look how the club head works out inside my hands. Really nice and wide takeaway. Position two, feel as though the alignment stick still points slightly on angle down towards the ground. Position three, feel as though the alignment stick works nice and flat. Position four, feel as though the alignment stick points up towards the sky. Position five, feel as though the alignment stick points just towards and above target. Position six, all the way over and around. Work it through that process slowly because that's gonna give you more control, but then try and do it with a little bit of speed. And I don't mean fast, I just mean not going position one, position two, position three. So we want to do it a little bit more like this. Okay, first stage would be one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we'll do it all a little bit more together. I just love this drill because it gives you great feedback with this alignment stick across you. So that's all well and good, isn't it? It's, it's great, gives you great feedback, you know where your arms are pointing, you know how to keep the arms and the body in sync. Let's just remind us of why we were doing that. Like Robbie, I think a lot of golfers do this, to try and search that into out path, and it's completely fine. If you do do that, I can understand why you've gone down that route. Over, open club face, round, and trying to really whip it through. It's fine, we know we can, we know we can get some good shots that way, but if we achieve it more club face, arms and body working together, more on the arms and the side of the body, two, three, four, five. 
gives you great elements to work to in your golf swing. And I really believe this alignment stick is a great focus point for all levels of golfers to use. Hitting that shot away. On the golf course, I would honestly, I've done this myself because I'm a bugger for feeling certain things like this. I would literally picture those alignment stick running across where your elbows are and figure out and just picture, okay, well, alignment stick to the ground, alignment stick flat, alignment stick above target, alignment stick around, and work on maybe two or three positions of that alignment stick, not the six, because it's not ideal to think about too many things out on the golf course. Let's go pick three positions and try a different three, because you may find one works better for you, one doesn't. These three elements will help you improve your entire golf swing and make it, as I said at the start of the video, absolutely perfect. Now, before I hit the shot away, I'm gonna tell you exactly how you can win a free swing analysis and drills to improve your game, just like this one. Number one, all you've gotta do is join this team, and I really would appreciate it if you could hit that big red subscribe button, and don't forget to turn the bell on. And number two, all you've got to do is comment down below, hashtag pick me. Hashtag pick me. Don't forget to put that because that's essentially how you get entered into the competition. So I really want to kind of leave it on a note of saying, thank you so much for the support this season. This is not the end of the channel. I just want to kind of say it's that this is us starting to prepare for next season now and get your game in order ready for the 2021 season, which sounds essentially the strangest thing that I've ever said. This 2020 has just literally flown by, but this is us ending this season, but looking forward to helping you improve your golf for next season. Daily tips here to help you improve. So focus on those three points. My three points are starting it on the right foot, feeling it on the right foot, the top nice and flat, pointing it above target. That really helps me perform my best. And I think this will help you too. Straight down towards target that. We're on. Thank you so much for joining me on round two of Sunday Swings. Look forward to joining you on Miracle Monday.